Good morning, everybody. What is up? Welcome to another vlog. You guys, today is actually a grocery haul. I am here at Winco bright and early. Um, the kids are actually just off to school right now, and I'm trying to beat the crazy Friday grocery shopping rush. So I am here early to get some food here at Winco. I've got a budget, about 100, 125, not too much, um, but I just need to go in and get a few different things. So I'm gonna try to stick within that budget. Headed in right now, you guys, Winco is probably the best, most affordable, best quality place to go. Um, so I really love it here. Uh, so I'm gonna take you guys in with me right now. Let's go. Look here, 368 for the honey made. Then you get the Winco brand of the graham crackers and it's $1.98, so it's quite significant. We'll see how it tastes, if the kids like it, but I'm willing to try it out. One of the things that I also love about here is they have all different sizes. So they have like giant size, family size, regular size, which is actually really awesome in like all the cereals and different things. Just like that you guys i am all finished that is a workout when you do that by yourself and i don't have danny there to help like bag the groceries or put them on the conveyor belt you're literally doing all of it so which is totally fine it wasn't too busy it actually was busier than i thought it was gonna be i feel like winco's like the place to go i spent about 147 dollars which was actually not too bad considering how much i got i'm gonna head home right now i'm gonna show you guys everything i got all back here um, got quite a few things, so let's go over it. All right, guys, so I made it back home, got everything inside, and basically unbagged everything. This is not everything. I still have a whole nother section over here of things to show you guys as well, but I think I did pretty good for about 100, I think it was like 147-ish is what I spent, which is not too bad, and I have found that the Winco brand, if you guys have a Winco, you need to go there. It is by far to me the best quality for the cheapest price. Um, I will say though their produce is hit or miss some of it's really good and then some of it just looks like blah So it's just kind of hit or miss there, but it is better than Walmart's produce because I just I can't do Walmart's produce But um, I got a lot of things that were like the Winco brand because most of the stuff was like Half of what I would pay at a regular store and the cool thing the other cool thing that they did Which I kind of showed you guys in the store is they compare their prices to the other stores that you might shop at and everything was like close to like 50% off or a few dollars off, which I'm like nowadays with everything, I can use that. So you guys, let me just start on the dry foods that I have out right now. Um, I did get some tuna fish, really good price. Like I said, the Winco brand food, amazing. So I just got four of these. Try, I can't remember the price of everything, but honestly, really good deal. Way better than the regular tuna. So I got four of those. I got some Ritz crackers just for the kids to kind of snack on. Emberlyn loves to take these in her lunches and they just kind of snack on these through the day. So it's just like a good little snack. Um, and this was actually on, they have like a wall of savings. This was on their wall of savings. So I think it was like two something, which is not bad because I feel like anytime I go to the regular grocery store, like Vons or Albertsons or somewhere like that, everything seems to be like $4 or above. So anything I see with like a two or a one next to it, I'm like, hallelujah. So these were like $2 and something. And then I showed you guys at the store that I got the graham crackers. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna taste a little bit different than the regular ones that we're used to, but I'm like, the price difference to me was worth it. So we'll try it, we'll see if the kids like it. I think they'll eat it, I think it'll be just fine. I feel like we've gotten these before in the Winco brand and they were totally okay. So got a box of those. Then their beef broth, you guys, was actually on for a really good deal as well. Again, the Winco brand, I think it was at least like 50% off instead of like almost $3. I think it was like a dollar something. Not bad, you guys, for this 32 ounce box of it. I love it. And I use um, chicken broth all the time. I have a new recipe that I'm going to be making. I actually am going to video it so I can share it with you guys. It's like a no peak chicken. 
So this is for that. And I actually use it like I love making chicken broth rice, which is really good with the chicken booyah and all that. Mm, it's so good. So I got that for that. I do want to make some barbecue chicken this week. So I grabbed some barbecue sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. This is the hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. Love it. Then I needed some more Parmesan cheese. I just, again, got the Winco brand, not a bad deal. Um, I go through this quite a bit, mainly because I've been making like my homemade, hard, homemade, not really homemade. I get like the corn tortillas and I'll fry them up and make like the tortilla shells. They're so good. So basically you take it right out of the grease and then you put the Parmesan cheese on the shell game changer. It is so yummy and delicious. Maybe I'll have to do that for you guys in like a vlog or something coming up. But if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. But I mainly get this for that. And then any kind of like pasta or whatever that we make this week, Hunt, um, onion soup and dip mix. This was like a dollar and I think it has, yeah, it's got two packs in it. And this is actually for the no peak chicken recipe that I'm going to be making as well. Then you guys know we love our Hormel chili with no beans. There's a really good dip. You guys are going to get a lot of little recipe tips in here. There's a dip that Emberlyn absolutely loves. She went to her friend's house. She came home. She's like, mom, this dip is so good. You have to make it. And I'm like, okay, what's in it? Literally Hormel chili, cream cheese, heat it up on the stove. Boom, bam, done. It is delicious. You guys, it is so good. Two ingredients doesn't get any better than that. You guys, we have football coming up. I'm like, that is like a perfect dip for like a Sunday night football game or something. So I just grabbed a couple of those. Um, of course, cream of chicken soup, you guys. The soups are getting expensive. I feel like the Campbell's brand is just like, bleh, it's so expensive now. It's almost like, I can't even remember, but these were like 92 cents or something a can, which was not bad considering the Campbell's brand is way more than that. I want to say it was like two something per can, which is crazy. So I grabbed four cans of those because I'm going to need that for some recipes coming up as well. I grabbed some Winco brand pasta sauce. I have bought these before and it's just as good as any other sauce and a lot cheaper. So grab two of those because I do want to make like a crock pot lasagna type recipe. Um, I'll have to show that to you guys as well. Maybe I'll do some cook with me's comment down below. If you guys want me to do some cook with me's coming up, Honestly, there's like our life. I was saying we haven't recorded a ton because there just hasn't been a ton of different things going on right now. So I could do some of like the household stuff, like the cook with me's and the shoppings and stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, comment down below, let me know, because I do have some fun recipes that I am planning on making this week. This is one of them with, I got these, um, I don't know how to say these pastas, but these pastas, for the crock pot lasagna soup. I got these for that. I got two bags of those. And you guys know, I like to just pick up extra pasta anytime I'm at the store. Again, the Winco brand is such a good deal. I'm just gonna keep saying that, but check that out. I just got like the elbow macaroni cause we're using it all the time. So I'm like, I'm just gonna grab some extra. I like to have extra pasta on hand always. Uh, I grabbed the pop tarts. They do have Winco, Winco brand pop tarts. I'm not sure what they taste like, but it was only a 10 cent difference. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just get the regular that I know that my kids like mainly Ashlyn. She absolutely loves these strawberry pop tarts. So I just grabbed one box of those, nothing much, but just kind of a cute little snack for her. Um, top ramen, you guys, I have been killing it with the top ramen recipes. I think I showed it in a vlog. If I did, I'll link the vlog, but um, the kids have been loving me making, like I kind of spruce it up a little bit with a little like teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil. Like it is really, really good and the kids love it. So I just grabbed two packs. We got the beef and we got the chicken because um, I'm sure the kids are gonna want that coming up too. I also grabbed some pickles, which is the Winco brand of the Baby Dale pickles, which we love pickles and our kids will drink pickle juice. If you guys don't know, pickle juice helps with cramps, like with athletes who might get cramps and stuff on the field. Ethan was getting cramps all the time when he'd be out in the field. He's been drinking pickle juice, totally been helping. So we, we try to keep the pickles on hand as much as possible. Um, chips, of course, are so expensive. This was like five bucks, which I'm like, this. our kids could eat these in one day. And Danny could eat one bag in one day. So this was kind of a lot. I was kind of annoyed to buy it, but I didn't want to buy like the big boxes that we usually get the assortment. 
Those are like 20 bucks a box now. And I'm like, yeah, don't want to spend that. So I just got one little bag. And then these seem to last a little bit longer because it's like the bigger bags. And we love the Juanito. What are these? Juanitos um, Fiesta bag. These were on for a deal uh, on the wall of savings. So I was like, I'm totally gonna grab this. I feel like they were like three something, which was not bad for this big, huge bag. And these last, and we love to make nachos with these and different things that are honestly the best tortilla chips. We absolutely love those. Then I got some taco seasoning because I ran out and we've been doing a lot of tacos and stuff. It's just a lot easier. Then we also ran out of rice. So I just got like a big old bag of the Winco. Good, it was on for a good day. Uh, what was it? Seven bucks, I think, for this big bag, which is actually not bad let me see this is 10 pounds a 10 pound bag for about seven bucks not bad at all and we go you guys know we make a lot of different things with rice we make spanish rice um beef broth rice and actually i'm going to need rice for the peekaboo chicken that i'm going to be making so that'll be awesome then i showed you guys in the store how this they have i love winco for this because they have literally all different sizes for like they have like family size and a lot of things and then they have large size and a lot of things so the cereal we got the family size of the cinnamon toast crunch and then we got the large size of the captain crunch they did have boxes even bigger than this i just don't want to spend on it so i just grabbed these and their family size they probably won't last long a couple of my kids and danny like to have cereal as a snack like they think it's like a full-on meal sometimes anyways i got two of these you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and bring out the other stuff that i got okay here is the rest of the stuff you guys i got some minute made fruit punch which the kids love um this was on sale for like a dollar something like dollar like a dollar 28 or something and that is actually not bad this was again on the wall of savings um the kids just love these so i just grabbed two of those grabbed some milk for the cereal as you guys know we don't go through a ton of milk so i just grabbed a little small one um just to help like to cook with for the cereal different things like that but we don't use a ton a ton of milk as you guys most of you guys know got some more corn tortinas because for the taco shells that i make we've been going through these like crazy so i grabbed some more of those I also grabbed a bag, I think this was like $5, for um, the boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is like three pounds, which is not bad for the price. This is again on the wall of savings. I love that wall. There's just so much there to kind of go through and see what you want. But this is only, what did I say it was? This is only three pounds, so this would be like one meal for our whole family. Say I throw it in the crock pot or something for that night. Still not bad, you guys, I will take it. So. Got a bag of chicken, got some cucumbers. They were 48 cents each, so I grabbed four of them. We still have some in the fridge, so I didn't get too, too many, but they looked really good today. I also grabbed some green apples. You guys, my kids will go through apples like crazy, especially the green ones. They love green apples, so we are constantly buying these. I will make another trip to the store this week probably to get some more produce, but probably at like Vons or Albertsons. I feel like they have some of the best produce, so I'll probably go there and grab some more, but Apples are constantly being eaten and constantly gone in our house. Uh, I also grabbed the little buddies because these are another thing that the kids will just grab and snack on. These are perfect to take to like soccer games, soccer practices, just kind of like um, refreshing for them. They absolutely love it. Put these in the fridge and they'll eat it right up. So there's those. I grabbed two pounds of ground beef, seven bucks for both of these. It's like two pounds of meat, which is not bad at all considering the meat at the other stores have been crazy so i just grabbed two of those i'll probably have to get more later in the week because we do use a lot of beef but i think i'm cooking a lot with chicken this week so i got chicken in the freezer i just got some more chicken so we're kind of stocked on that i also grabbed these mint fudge cookies i'm i think we've had these before they're kind of like the girl scout cookie mint cookies and i also got the coconut caramel fudge ones really delicious and amazing and much much cheaper than the ones that we normally get i forget the brand is it nabisco or whatever has almost these exact same ones they taste exactly the same this was like a dollar 88 maybe two dollars the other ones are like four dollars and above it's insane so these were both on for a really good deal i know my kids are going to eat through them but i felt better about buying them at that price so i just grabbed those i'll probably throw these in the fridge because they're so good just kind of like with a little chill on them mm delicious 
So I got those. You guys, the cheese was the other thing that I was super impressed with. I have been spending like not eight to nine dollars a bag of on a bag of cheese, which is crazy. The cheese on their wall of savings today was four ninety eight for a big bag, the same size that I would normally buy at the grocery store. So I grabbed a bag of the Mexican style blend cheese. Not too bad at all for about five bucks, you guys. I will take it. So um, I even have some in my fridge already and I'm like, I'm not gonna pass up this deal because that is pretty awesome. So a bag of cheese, we're always cooking with cheese. Got some applesauce. We just, the kids love these. Ethan especially loves these. I love these. Um, just kind of like a little snack for the day. Uh, we got go which, Love the go -Gurts. We love to freeze these in the freezer and the kids will take them on the go or literally on the go and um, just eat these right up. So I grabbed a box of these. These are the strawberry splash and the cool cotton candy. The kids love those flavors. So there's those. Got some bananas the kids have been eating. I feel like my kids go in phases. Sometimes our bananas last forever until they're like black and I'm like, ugh, I'm never buying bananas again. And then I'll buy them a little while later and they'll eat right through them. So it's so hard to gauge. Lately they have been grabbing and going um, and just taking bananas with them before their soccer games or practices and things. So I did grab another bunch just to make sure we had those on hand because they are into them right now. So we'll see how that goes. And then I also grabbed, our kids love the smart ones of the fettuccine, is it the chicken? Yeah, the chicken fettuccine. Just real quick, like easy, throw it in the microwave when they get home from school, if they're hungry or whatever. They absolutely love these. I actually grabbed six of them just to kind of last us through the week. And it's just a really good, easy, quick meal for them. So we grabbed six of those. And then I grabbed a big thing of waters. I think it's a 40 count of the Winco waters. And that is it, you guys. That is everything I got. I'm gonna say that is not too bad at all. About 140 something dollars. Not bad at all. I will take it. I need to go to Winco more often. It's not like super close to us, but it's not super far. So sometimes we go to the grocery stores where it's a little more convenient. But when you're saving money like this, I feel like it makes the drive well worth it. So that is everything I got, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have a Winco near you? And if you do, what do you love to buy there? And that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, cheers!